What's going on, you guys? I am, as always, Mr. Grimmer 512, and welcome everybody to my channel. And today, I got uh, some. I got a special guest with me. On the phone with me is Dark Knight 987. You know him. You you've seen him. You've seen him on the channel. You know him better. Uh, you know him as that crazy dude. But today, me and him are gonna. Me and him are gonna talk about a film called Man Down. Now, this film stars Shia LaBeouf, Jai Courtney, Gary Oldman, Kate Mara, and Clifton Collins Jr. And um, before I before I talk about this, uh, say what's up to everybody, dude. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Doug 97 here. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, help my partner out here on this uh, this review. So uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so. I, I I watched this movie a while back, um, a few days, a few weeks ago actually, when my buddy was uh, when Dark Nine Ninety Seven was gonna come to the house uh, that very same Friday. Um, but this is how I felt. I I, I thought the movie. Okay, before I, before I talk about the movie itself, let's talk about the premise of the movie. Okay, so according to this, according to Wikipedia, it says when a U.S. Marine returns home from Afghanistan, he finds that the place he once called home is no better than the battlefields he fought on. He fought on overseas. Accompanied by his best friend, he searches desperately for the whereabouts of his son and wife. In their search, the two intercept a man carrying vital information about his family, and that about sums up. That, that, well, not really, it doesn't necessarily sum up to me how this film progressed. It, it had, like, different timelines in it that was very, very, uh, that was very, very, uh, uh, what's the word am I looking for? Uh... What's the word am I looking for? Come on, dude, help me out here. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, oh boy, uh, trying to find out the way your folks get back to bear with us, but um, I want to talk about this movie. Um, and uh, I mean, I haven't seen it, but I, I, I'm actually following along here on Wikipedia. I actually, actually wanted to read about it. I'll follow it up on Wikipedia. So, um, and he's talking about different time frames and all that. Um, you know, I, I, you know, if, if I watched it myself, if someone had told me himself, if I would have watched this, I think I would think the same because you know what, dude? Uh, and we know how, how you, you know how you want to sit in the theater or you want to sit in front of a TV and watch a good movie. And, you know, you know this movie here, we're going to watch it, it's going to be great. And then, uh, when it's over, you're thinking, well, I mean, it's okay, it wasn't what I thought. You know, that, that, that's what this movie brings out. Uh, it, you know, it, like my partner said, it, it's okay, it's not... It, up to you know, it's it's not as uh, as as good as we thought, but I mean, you know, there's there some different ratings on it and all this going on with it. Uh, but um, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it, it just could have been, you know, I think could have been done a bit better, you know, in my in my opinion. Um, so yeah, this is this uh, yeah. So you know, this, this movie is just one of those times where you, it's just one of those where you get it's gonna be good, and then it turns out that it's mm, well. The the problems in this film are very 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 simple. The time zones are off. Uh, the different time the different time uh, the you know the flash. I don't know if if it's flashback scenes. You don't know if it's flashbacks or if it's not flashbacks. Uh, and I had that problem, and I can't. And I, I, as I watched the movie, I had the problems. I had problems understanding which, you know what I mean. And I don't know. I don't know what to. I I don't know what to say about this movie. Only is that is that was it as bad as people thought it was? I don't think so. It it was a good movie. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it wasn't. It was okay. It was it was not as great as 
I thought it would be because I watched the trailer for this. I I didn't I didn't do a reaction for it. I did watch the trailer for this, but the problem with this film is that it it it, it confuses you. You know what I mean? You don't know what's what. You don't know what's happening. You don't know how this dude. You don't know how this dude is gonna look for his family, and you don't know how he's gonna come back from this from this grief from this from this heartache that he's going through, you know, and stuff like that. But the problem is, is that just the premise itself doesn't make sense. The it it does in a sense, sort of, but it it's just the whole thing was just completely confusing. Really, to be honest, what do you think, man? Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with what you know. If you remember what you were saying, because uh, I haven't seen the movie, but I, I just agree with every word he's saying. You know, I don't want to waste my time now that I know that this movie. Uh, I mean, that's the question: Is it as bad as people think it is? Uh, so we're not saying it's bad. We're saying it's okay. Uh, but it, we, we could have expected more out of, out of that. You know, that's what, that's what we're, we're trying to say uh, to you people here uh, in, uh, in the YouTube world and you know, around the uh, internet world. Uh, I mean, like I said, um, something like that, man, Dan, you know, oh, it's going to be a great action film, a thriller, something's going to happen, somebody's, you know, the, you think it's going to be something that, you know, it's going to make a movie with that title, you know, and when you make a movie with something like that, you want to bring, really bring the intense, uh, you know, you want to bring the action, you want to bring the, all the stuff you put together, you want to bring all that together and make it one great flick, you know, but, but this one here, um, I guess we're not saying it's uh, we're not saying it's bad. We're just saying that it, it, it could have gone better than what it was. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do y'all think out there? Do you think it's as bad as they say it is? I mean, you, you go all swing for yourselves. You can be the judge yourselves, and you know, uh, just, just decide for yourself how. Uh, what do you think about this movie? It's called again, it's called Man Down. I try the both, and, and, and a lot of people in there. Check it out, and then maybe judge your opinion on that movie. Uh, but then, you know, this is what we're just talking about here. This is our opinion on what we think of this movie. But maybe you should have for yourself. Check out that movie if you can. Maybe get some insight on your opinions, folks out there. Just see for yourself. Maybe you never know. You have your your own your own opinions about this movie that, that we're trying to, that we're talking about here uh, right now. Yeah, I think uh, this is what I think, man. Is that is that it? it what I okay? Let me show y'all guys before before I get into anything else. Let me show y'all guys what I gave it first. I gave it a six and a half out of ten. I thought the film did pretty well, yeah. but the I the problems though the though were this. The problems were the flashback scenes. The or so I think that they're flashback scenes. I don't know what was what what was happening, but all I could see was is that this film it, it it confused it confused me to a point where I just said you know what this I don't know uh uh I don't know what Dito Montiel the director was was thinking up up in his head but the whole idea for this film the idea is, is that there's multiple and, and then also to the con- the other confusing part is is that there's multiple plots happening all at once. Apparently, the friend the f- the friend uh, betrayed Shia LaBeouf's character when he when he got with the, with the wife or something like that. the the son is the son is having problems at school with bullies. Uh, it is all over the place, and it's just I don't. I, I would like a movie to stay on point. You know what I mean? Um, when you make a movie, when you make a movie, you have to stay on point with what you, you... You have to try to make a point with what you're trying to do. And I think... I think this movie kind of sort of failed at that. But what do you think, man? Uh, what, uh, what do you think, dude? Well, I agree with you. Uh, I think a movie should have, when it comes to a plot, in a movie, when it comes to the plot, you have to have one plot, one plot that 
about the whole part about that movie that you be making. And what you my point is saying there, and I agree with you know, what he's saying is, you know, this one has different parts of all the way. It's going out this way. It's going out this way. It's going out backwards. It's going out, you know, that's what, you know, he's saying. But, yeah, I, I gotta agree on me. I, I gotta say that, uh, you gotta have one plot that tells the whole entire story. I mean, that, that's what the whole point of the movie is. Is that one whole plot that tells you how the story unfolds, and maybe one flashback or two, and that's it. You know, but basically, it's in this around one person, we'll around that one character, that one group of people, or that one person. It tells like, a whole entire story. That, that's the whole point of the movie. It's like a storybook, but it, 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 you're just seeing it on the screen, and it's just happening before you. It basically, uh, like I'm saying, it, it, a movie needs to have one good plot or one good story. And whereas this movie has, like my partner was saying, it's throwing out different plots everywhere and it totally confuses the viewer, like my partner here. So, again, like I said, like I said you fans out there, you just judge it uh, for your uh, your opinion. You you take, check this out for yourself. You see what we're talking about because, we you know, me and I know from my experience of movie, we have learned movies a lot. We've seen that only one, the plot is only based on one character or one group of people or what have you. But, when we know when we see different plots fly out, we were like, well, we could have, I mean, it could have been just one, one plot, one story, one whole plot, you know. That's how me and, and Mr. Remember here, we know from experience that movies usually have one plot that centers around a certain character or, or whatever. It, it's basically, like I say, it tells a story. A movie tells a story, one whole plot synopsis. Not all willing nilly but that will confuse the viewers, like myself, Mr. Remember that one too. So basically, yeah, one plot will tell the whole story. That's that all I'm saying with you, you know, stick with the story, people. Yeah, but, but I want to ask you guys, what do y'all guys think about this film? Did, have you seen it? Did you did you watch it? Did you like it? Did it confuse you like like it did me? It because this this film just I don't know it 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 just completely confused me. I don't I don't I don't know. But what do y'all guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Me and Dark Knight Night It's Ever, and I'll give y'all guys another review this time that we're going to give y'all guys uh, coming up next here. We're going to give y'all guys our review for The Great Wall starring Matt Damon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to tell my, I'll, I'll talk some, I'm going to talk to my partner about that film here in a little bit. He has not seen any of these films that we're, uh, that we're reviewing. Um, but let me know in the comments what y'all thought of Man Down. Which I'll above. Let me know in the comment section down below. I am Mr. Green Two, and I'll see you all in the afterlife. Peace.